Hello, so I'm going to be doing one year of BoxyCharm review and over here I have a whole year worth of BoxyCharm makeup which I'll insert the picture. Boom. We got a lot of stuff to go through. This is pumpkin spice slash dull seasonings tea and it's got a little bit of vanilla rice milk in it. So good. So let's start out with the face product. We've got Dr. Brandt Illuminating Primer. Now I was using an Essence Illuminating Primer for my Project Pan which I ended up emptying that and that's why I haven't used much of this yet. But I did test this out and I loved it and it smells so good. Then we have the Tarte Pro Glow Highlighter and just a little bit of this goes a long way as you can see here. But I haven't really found a way to use this yet. I like Tarte products so it's good to add to my collection. And this Tarte Highlighter is in Stunner. Then we have this Becca Highlighter in Presco Pop and this is what the Becca highlighter looks like. It's a beautiful gold. This one is probably my favorite highlighter I got. It seems to match my skin tone the best. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Then we got this Bella Pierre concealer palette and this is like a color corrector concealer palette. I've used some of it so far, mostly this orange to conceal my dark circles and then a little bit of this green for blemishes. I don't really use this purple all too much because I don't really have yellow spots or anything that I need to conceal. Oh, it smells like chocolate. I love it. This Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette and it has the shades Originator, Innovator, Trailblazer, and Founder in it. And some people were saying this is too dark for their skin tone. I personally don't think this is too dark for my skin tone. And I'll show you what these highlights look like. That's them right there. And let's watch it brew on this hand here. There's the highlights. We got this Pure Bronze and Brightener palette. And I love palettes like this that are cheek, highlight, and bronzer all in one but I would prefer they put them in order so you can just swipe your brush through, apply them to your face. I have a Lancome palette like that where I can just swipe my brush through and apply it to my face. But this one is not in the right order so I can't do that. But this has some beautiful highlight. Look at that. So shiny. And this blush and this bronzer aren't that bad either. Although I would really stick to wearing this bronzer in the summertime unless you have a darker skin tone. I got this Ofra palette and in here is an Ofra blush that I got along with this palette. I don't remember the name of the blush. This is what it looks like. A antique rose. Got this Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless palette and it's got three blushes in it and the three blushes are Fearless, Limitless, and unstoppable and these are beautiful I love the brand real her my favorite is probably this blush the unstoppable and then the limitless this was a recent one and this is the Laura Geller blush in tropic hues and it's a beautiful baked blush look at that that's gorgeous now I know my mom got me some Laura Gella for my birthday and I have to wait until my birthday to see it. I know there's going to be a blush in there and I can't wait to use it because this one looks gorgeous. I can't wait to use this one. I haven't tried this one yet because I just got it. I just swatched it but it's beautiful. I also just got this MAC blush. And thanks to my friend Mandy who used my referral code 
we both got a MAC blush as a bonus and this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Cosmic Force. Now this I got the very first month I subscribed and this is the Studio Makeup Blush and I really like the sifter here because you can twist it to open it or twist it to close it. I think more sifters should be like that. I got this Note Blush. It's beautiful. I love the smell of it too. And it is in the shade Desert Rose. I got this very vivid pink Pretty Vulgar, Vulg, pretty vulgar Blush. And I just love the packaging. It's gorgeous. I got this cuticle oil recently and it's by Adesse and I love this. It's so great. And then we also got this Nailed It Nail Tools and I love these. They're so convenient to travel with. I unfortunately broke my scissors but I got new scissors and they're so convenient to travel with and leave on my bedside table for doing nail art. I love them so much. We have this Dr. Brandt vacuum cleaner face mask. I obviously love this. It smells so god awful. It smells like egg farts. It works really well if you have oily acne prone skin. And then we also got this Dr. Brandt Pore Derm Abrasion Exfoliating Face Scrub. I can't stand this. I'll probably give this away to somebody. I just gotta find the right person to give it away to because this is just too abrasive on me. I feel like it's gonna give me wrinkles every time I use it, so I barely ever use this. And then I got this uh, Pharmacy Bright On Vitamin C Mask for brightening and I like this. It seems to help with my hyperpigmentation on my lip and my chin. And oh, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Mmm, smells so good. If you have not tried this yet, you gotta try this. I, I'm gonna repurchase the full size once this is used up. I love it so much. Now I have a whole bunch of face masks. Three eye masks recently by Wander Beauty and I have not tried these eye masks yet but I'm excited to try them. The thing is that's something you kind of got to do every day so I'm kind of building up a collection of them first and then I've got a bunch of these South Main eye, eye masks and same thing I'm building up a collection of them first and then I got two of these lip masks I did try out one of them but I decided I'm gonna build up a collection of these also so I so I can do like a daily routine of face masks I prefer to use face masks in the winter time and the summertime I prefer to use like squeeze tube masks. <laughs> we have this Smashbox lipstick and this is in the shade Warrior Pose and it's a beautiful like mocha color. I do notice that you tend to get a lot of browns and nudes with BoxyCharm. Just be aware of that. This is Hank and Henry. Ooh, this smells so good. This smells like cream cheese frosting. And this is Petal Pusher. And it's a liquid lip. And then I got Galactic. And this is in the shade Posh. This one has sort of a vanilla smell to it. And then I got this Odessa. Uh, this does not have a name, but it's a high definition lips liquid lipstick. This one has sort of a faint vanilla smell also. And got the Tart Tartus lip paint in Delish. This one has kind of like a chalky smell to it. It doesn't smell all that appealing but it doesn't smell expired and this smells like pina colada this is the pure lip scrub and I've obviously used this a lot I really like this and then I got this beauty crop and I got this with some bonus points it smells very like mm, kind of fruity and it's in the shade date night 
and I got this pretty vulgar liquid lip in the shade My Lips Are Shield. This is a metallic and it smells citrusy like orange and then we got this Ofra and Verona. I love this one. This one looks so good with my skin tone. This has a very memorable scent. It smells like Sally Hansen lip glosses and I can't tell what this fragrance is but it just smells memorable. It smells like lip gloss. Then we have a ColourPop and this is in Mess Around. Mm, that kind of smells a little chocolatey I guess. And then we have this Han lip gloss in Nude Rose and I did not like this one. This one feathered. But it smells good. It smells cakey. I will probably end up giving this away. I don't know who I give it away to, but I'll probably end up giving it away. Oh, so many lip products. Wow. This is in the shade Sun Shower. Although I don't wear red that often, I usually only wear red during the holiday season. And then I got two lip liners. This one I got in with my bonus points. So the one that I got in my boxy charm is Jante Blue and Brown Sugar. And the one I got with my bonus points is IBY and Darling. Darling? Daring? Darling. And I also got this lipstick with my bonus points. And this is Dirty Little Secrets. And this literally smells like Fruit Loops. It smells exactly like Fruit Loops. And it's called in the shade Forbidden. So we got the Glam Metals palette. This is by Crown Brush Pro. And this is such a fun palette. Look at it. It's in the guitar shape, the mirror, and I just love the theme. I love the colors too. I can't wait to use this. This is a very fall palette, which they gave this to us in the winter time. So I, I didn't really get much use out of it, but it's more so for the fall. See, I use these kind of icy, cool colors because it was winter time. But now that it's going into fall, I'll probably use more of these warm colors here. And let me read you the shades we have here. Punk, Wild Thing, Black Metal, Rock On, Rebel, Heavy Metal, The Wicked, Glam Rock, Pop Rock. Then we have the Winky Lux palette. I was so excited for this palette because it's got little flat face kitties on it. Inside the palette is these beautiful colors. These are more suited for my complexion, my eye color. The color names are on the back here. Purr, Duchess, Strut, Cat Eye, Nine Lives, Holographic, Boots, Cheshire Romy. And then the element of surprise is the ColourPop palette that I got. And that's what it looks like. I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Mostly with these two shades here. Those seem to be my favorite shades. We got the colors Feels, Late Night, Silk Street, Rayon, Go With The Flow, Subdue, Opulent, Labyrinth, Blank canvas, sea stars, details, peace of mind. This palette I just got recently, and this is the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar palette. And this is a beautiful palette. I can't wait to use this. I've been waiting to use this because I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to just dive into it. You know, I. It seems gorgeous. I've swatched a little bit of it. We have the color Nocturnal, Pillow Fight, Break Free, Dark Side, Hide and Seek, Clutch, Flip Out, I Spy, Silver Spoon, Swoop, After Midnight, All Nighter. And I can't wait to try this. I'm going to probably try this next time I do my makeup. And this was another recent one. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. Now, do I like Laura Lee Los Angeles? Do I support what she's done? No. I don't think she has the best behavior. But does she make excellent eyeshadows? Yes, she does. And, you know, 
I don't know her personally. I'm not gonna throw away this makeup just because she's done some bad things. You know, I'm gonna keep this. Would I buy her products? Probably not. Probably not. You know. But there are other makeup brands that I do not support and I will not purchase their products and I would throw away their products or give away their products if I receive them. Laura Lee, I think she's just kind of immature and you can see it with how she's made this palette. It's party animal. It's a party, damage control, karaoke, drinks, bottoms up, hungover. You know, she's acting like she's freaking 21 or less, 18, you know? I didn't party that much when I was her age. She needs to grow up. That's what I'm saying. She needs to grow up. Okay. And then we have the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This one is absolutely beautiful. And I've gotten a lot of use out of this. Now let me know, is this shade El Masion, is that gold or green to you? Because I see gold. And I've asked several people and they say they see gold. And then I've heard from other people, they see green. Does this shade look green or gold to you? Let me know in the comments down below. And then we got the crown brush palette. This palette is so beautiful. I can't wait to use this during the fall. I mean, it's fall now. I can't wait to use it now. <laughs> we got two pure palettes. Now we have the Pure Sore's Diaries palette. And this was part of my project pan but now I'm kind of thinking I don't want this to be part of my project pan anymore because I kind of want to hold on to it I love this so much and I heard they're discontinuing it so I kind of want to just hold on to it <laughs> and use it sparingly <laughs> is that so bad is that so wrong and then we have this pure boxy charm palette and you know, a lot of people have given this a bad rap. I don't really think it's all that bad. It's not as bad as people make it out. We got a couple eyelashes here. These are the House of Lashes. And these are in Heartbreaker. And these are so cute. I can't wait to wear these. And they look comfortable. They have a nice thin lash band. And then there's the Baddington Lashes, which... I don't know if you saw my video, but I did not like these. They are uncomfortable. Sure, they're silk. That's cool. Maybe I'll be able to wear them multiple times. That's cool. But they are so uncomfortable to wear. And then I got these mascaras. I got the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara which I'm currently using, and the London Butter London Double Decker Mascara. Now this one I hate it because it gets all crusty and it falls out. So I'm, I'm going to toss this one. I'm just going to toss it. And I missed the trash, but I tossed it into a pile of boxes. <laughs> so we got some eyeliners here. This one is the Bang Beauty Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. Now, this does not work very good as an eyeliner for me. It's really clumpy, but it works good as a brow gel. So I think I'm going to hold on to it. And then I got this pretty vulgar black gel liner. I was so excited to get this because I need another black gel liner. I love this. I've heard people say they didn't like it. I love it. It works really well for me. And then I got this Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll On Liquid Liner. I have not tried this yet and I'm a little scared to, but it gets a pretty precise line. I'm, I'm not too intimidated by it. I think it might be fun. 
I would like to try it. And then this Vintage Cosmetics Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet Black. I actually have not used this yet. It's completely untouched. I might have swatched it just a little bit, but it looks completely untouched. I was basically saving it for if somebody else needed a black eyeliner pencil because I've got so many of them. I, I might as well save it for somebody that needs it or until I use up all of my black eyeliner pencils I already have. Brow Gel Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. I love this so much. I think I've used most of it all the way up already. I love it. And this Chella Brow Gel. And I love how convenient this will be for travel. I can just throw this in my little travel bag. It will be so convenient. And this MAC brow pencil. And this one's not that bad. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was too dark. I've been doing my brows darker and darker now. So it's not that bad. And then this Cover Effects Shimmer Veil. I love this. This is so good for doing like the inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight or just adding a little shimmer on the lid. Now we have all these makeup brushes and some of them are dirty. Just to forewarn you. The first makeup brush I got was this Bare Minerals and it's got this little well in it that you can put your foundation in. And I actually really like this. I like this so much I bought the knockoff on Wish. <laughs> and the knockoff on Wish isn't as good as this one, but it works. And then the next makeup brushes we got were... I'm actually missing one, but they were at these Luxie brushes. I'm not sure where the other one went to. Oh no. But anyways, there are these Luxie's travel size brushes. The other one's probably in my travel brush kit, but they are so perfect for traveling. I use them all the time. And speaking of Luxie brushes, we also have these three Luxie brushes and we got these recently. And one's the Precision Foundation Brush. The other is the Tapered Highlighter. And this one's the Duo Fiber Brush. And we got some Vintage Cosmetics brushes. And there's step one, two, and three. And they're nice little eye brushes. I use those all the time. These ones are brand new. I haven't used these yet. These are the Alamar Cosmetics brushes. And I'm really excited to get a brush like this because I don't have a brush quite like this one yet in my collection and it never hurts to have some of these flat brushes. I've got some miscellaneous crown brushes here. Here's a blush brush. Here's a powder brush. Here's an eyeshadow brush. And I'm not sure what this is, but this you could use to put powder under your eye to do detailed sculpting. And then we have these Aesthetica brushes and there is P12, which is a powder brush. There's a spoolie. There's this angled liner brush. And then there's this pencil liner brush. Okay, so I did get some other stuff too. Let's see what I did not mention. So in September I also got a Briogeo hair mask and I loved that. In December we got a Tarte mascara. I loved that too. I used it all, well I didn't use it all up. I used it for three months and then I got rid of it. I got a brow pencil by It Cosmetics. Oh I hated that. I loved it at first. It worked really good at first but then it broke and it just is like not sturdy. I don't, I don't really like uh, brow pencils that are mechanical. I prefer pencil sharpened brow pencils because 
They seem to break less often, where the mechanical ones seem to break more often. In May, I got a primer by Cover FX. I gave that to a friend because I didn't like it. It made my foundation crack. In June, I got an eyeliner by Jean de Bloom, and I gave that to my mom. My mom likes it. And I'm waiting on a dry shampoo to come in the mail that I got with my bonus points. So I wanted to say a few things. As far as products, the products that I got the most of was makeup brushes. I got 22 makeup brushes. Followed by a tie for palettes, lipsticks for lippies, and mask and scrubs, which is 12 of each. And then uh, blushes, I got 10 blushes. And then I got eight eyeshadow palettes all together. And then I got five brow products, five highlighters, five eyeliners, and two hair products, and three mascaras. The brands that I got the most of were Luxie at seven, Crown at six, Pure at five, Aesthetica and Wander tied at four. So that's just a general idea of what you'll get. Do I think BoxyCharm is worth it? Yes. Definitely. Did you not see how much great makeup I got? And I've never had such wonderful eyeshadow palettes in my life. I've always used like the e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes, which things are good, but these are way better. No offense, e.l.f., but I like these eyeshadows better. But I'm still keeping my e.l.f. palettes. <laughs> Is it worth it? Yes. Very worth it. Would I buy the boxy Lux though? Mm, probably not. Not unless it has something I really, really want. Because I already feel like I'm getting such a good deal with the boxy charm that I don't need to invest in the boxy Lux. Unless there's something I really, really want. I wasn't impressed with the last Boxy Lux, but the Boxy Lux they had uh, last December, I really wanted that one, but I didn't have the money at the time. So I might have the money for the Boxy Lux coming this December though, so you better make a good one this December, Box Charm. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a nice night. Bye.